let me start the recording okay and this is all class number two and let me share my screen can you let me share my screen so i can show my progress first oh that's great okay uh so i have to make a host so which wanna be become a host ahmad brother did you want to become a host yes yes please okay I made okay. it so uh, then hold on. Mm -hmm. Your mic is stopped. Your mic is not uh, on. Yeah, please, yeah, please, yeah, yeah. Uh, please turn on. Okay, the mic. You, you can hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, uh, because I stopped in uh, part of the code, so I, I don't know if the game is going to run or not. To be honest, mm -hmm. yes, there's a problem with the compiler. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I made, I think, uh, two hours from this lecture. It's four hours and a half, and I made almost yeah. two hours and a half something. So yeah. I, can move the, uh, the, I, I can move the player, I can move him around, and also the enemy. Enemy will going to follow me. He's going to punch me, and I, I have the combo and the punches, all these things. I did it for, until now. Uh, yes, that's, but that's to be good. honest, Mr. Puff was okay. Here, for example, the player attacks. Player attack. Okay. Yeah. Uh, see, I write the code, I followed him, and everything is working fine. But to be honest, I don't know what's this, you know? I, I yeah. mean, if he explained for me, I understand. But if I want to okay. do it by myself, then I okay. don't think it's going to be that easy. Yeah, yeah, it is not that much hard. It, it is not that much hard. So no, you it's see, not that easy. Yeah, it's not that much easy because it is a complete game, and we have to understand each and everything. So first of all, I don't know what you have done in that tutorial. Like the, uh, this was a four hours of tutorial, okay? And I, I did not follow that tutorial because I uh, can uh, risk in this project uh, myself as well. Oh, you did I, follow it. Yeah. yeah. So I think you don't need to change the code because uh, you can change the animations as well. If you want to- I made, I made the animators. I made all the animators here. You see, I connect everything. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Also for the player also. This is for the, I think this is for the enemy. Yeah. No, this is for the player. Yeah, yeah. And there's the, so. so. you can, so you can change the animation, animation uh, file. Yeah, if you, I think if I click here or something and. Uh, no, no, no. When you click huh? on, when you click on, not, not over here, go into the animator. Animator. Yes. And the below window, uh, select the animator right now. Yeah. And the below window, you can scroll up. Yeah, scroll up and select any of the attacks, like attack one, select attack one. Yeah. Yeah, this is state. When you, when you select the attack one state, you can see on the inspector. Upside on the inspector, you can see the enemy attack one. The motion. Uh, sorry, where is, hold on. The motion one. The motion one. And the mouse. So where is the inspector? Yeah, this this the first uh, value, the first value under the inspector window, you can see you can see enemy attack yeah. one. Enemy attack one. Yeah. No. Yeah. Any, yeah. Down there. Down there. Mo ah, under, this one. This one. Yeah, and enemy attack one. Yeah. Okay. So this so this one you can change the animation. From here. From yes. Here? Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Open. Like open this. up. Open up your project. Can Can you change the layout of the Unity? Uh, yes. If you want to, I can do that. You mean uh, uh, on the top right? Ah, top okay. Right, sorry, sorry. Two by three. Make yeah. it two by three. Two by three. Yeah. Oops. Uh, stop shared windows closed what's happened here let me no share problem. again yeah 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 green all right 
So <clears throat> this is by two by three. This is yeah. Now two by three. Uh, now under the project window, uh, there are three dots on the top right. In the top uh, right. This, of, this? No, no. Okay. On, under on the, the project, project three dots. Yeah. Click on the uh, and click on one column. I said what? Ah, this oh, one. Wow. One column, yes. Okay. Now this is perfect. Now uh, go to the window setting. Now let I will tell you. I can share my screen and I will let you know uh, what is happening yeah, okay. and how That's to fine. That's fine. and how to do. Because I have so I have I stop sharing. Make your screen. host. Uh, uh, so I make you host now. Yeah, you can make me host and stop your sharing of the screen. So I will start uh, my screen now. And I stop sharing. Now I'm the host. Thank you so much. And no problem. So now you can see my screen over here. Okay, this one is the project. Um, yeah. Uh, Mr. Harvard, I sent you a video that I worked on maybe. Wow, that's good. Yeah. I see a very good progress right now. And this is the game, right? 2.5D game. And yes. Uh, when you press the X button, it will kick. And when you kick, uh, when you press the space button, it will fly like jump like this. So these are the basic things, okay? But when you pause exactly. this game, when you pause this game and come uh, inside what is happening right over here okay yeah this is a player okay and you you see there are so many components over here the health exactly. system the player movement the player combat okay so uh, you have to select the player and these are the components each each of them is a component rigid body is another component and these are the script which are which is controlling our main player okay so this script controls the movement of the player okay health system controls the complete health system of the player okay and if i increase if i increase to 20 and uh, unpause it so now you can see it is again the the health is increases. Let's see. Again, again, can you show me, please? Show me again. Yeah, I can show you. I just made it 20. Current health power yeah. is 20. And right now it is half of it. Okay. But when yeah. I unpause the game. Oh, cheating. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, this this type of things are the cheatings, but these are the values actually okay so we can we can uh, see the animator as well where is the animator where is the animator of the player do you know yeah here. yeah 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 here you put it on gfx yeah, sorry yeah. the gfx what is it a shortcut for what graphic uh... yeah these are the i think these are the effects uh, graphical effects. Uh, graphic effects, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and the unit animator over here. The dust particle is there, and the hit effects are there. So I will tell you what I have already told you that today. What we will do today, we will uh, do these before understanding the first question uh, you have asked me. So how can yes. you add it? How can you change? Uh, the how can you change the current uh, game script how can you change it so first of all you have to understand you have to understand the game you have to understand the game what is happening over there you have to understand the scripts as well okay uh, mr Hafez, just five minutes give me five minutes okay i'll come back five minutes please okay Thank you. so i can 
I can pause the recording. Hussain, okay. are you there? Are you are you there, Hussain? Yes, I'm. Okay. So what I'm uh, telling to you guys that uh, you have to understand what are the how the scripts are working, how the scripts are working, how are uh, how many methods are there, yes. which which are predefined, predefined methods. Okay. So which I'm are back. Uh, Ahmad is back. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's... yeah, he is fast man. So that's great. He is back then. That's great. Okay. So this, these are the things. There, this is so complex thing. Okay. And to be honest, it yes. is a big, it is a beginner course. So I think you should have to understand everything. Okay. You should have to. I should have to tell you. What is on enable method? What is on disable method? What is start method? So you should know the flow. What is fix update? First of all, uh, before going deep into these things, we should know what is this. Okay, Ahmad and Hussain. Yes. Uh, okay. Afos, I have a question. Okay. Uh, it's, it's out of the context, but uh, I don't know. Uh, does, uh, does bolts will help us in? our progress the bolts you know i told you about the feature bolts or something is it helpful or just ignore it and continue with the, no the it is it, it, no it is it is fine too but if you bolt is actually a little complex thing if you don't know uh, all the all, all the flow of unity if you don't know about the rigid body and if you don't know about the other things like how many functions are there how many like these are the things I will tell you. Uh, let me open up the project over here. I have I already have this project beat him up. Okay, we will go into this. But first of all, I have to make your base. Okay, oh. so, ba so first of all, so in other words, to... we need to know the programming. Then we no. can understand the bolts. No, you don't need to understand programming because if you want to learn programming, then you have to. Uh, learn C language from like uh, what is the for loop, what is if else condition. Okay, over here I am telling you about to how to use the programming, how to use the programming in the Unity uh, in Unity game development. Okay. Yes. So Hussein can understand you as well, and this is not a programming course. This is a game development course. So I but uh, this is our second class, and I will tell you what are the gaming programming concept in unity okay so for, uh, previously what we have done is we have uh, made a uh, uh, hello world and over there we have make made a uh, button hit me button okay yes. so that that was the basic but now today i want to show you some other things okay so you guys can understand more you will understand this then Okay, what is what's inside okay. over here? Okay, so let me close this because this is another project. And now what I will do, I will create a new game object. Okay, and I can call it variables. Okay, and we can make a new class, we can call it variables variables okay yeah and we can drag and drop okay over here and let's uh, here is the object of uh, as as uh, you know that object oriented programming is here okay so here is the variable object and you cannot see it because we, there is no body of this object because we are using it only in the environment to check and balance, okay? So now what we will do, we will open this variable script. And you can ask me anything during my lecture, okay? There is no problem, you can ask me, but I know that I, I don't uh, need to jump into a big project. I have to make a little base of you guys, and then we will jump into a big project like this. So now you can see, are you there? 
guys are you there yes, yes. okay so now you can see there is already a unity library over there using unity engine and the variable is already inherited with the mono behavior mono. yeah this is the mono behavior so now what you have to understand you can see this line is commented star is called before the first frame update okay so these are the method okay and these are the method which will automatically call by unity we don't so another to... one by just playing the game these methods will going to be worked or called yeah exactly this these methods will be working automatically that's you have to understand okay. no no i'm sorry but the start is it going to be work just if i click to play it's going to work these yeah. uh, void start yeah. Okay. yeah yeah okay but but what what is happening the update method is uh, uh, calling again and again update is called once per frame and yes. there are 60 frames per second okay or yeah. something yeah. else so there are so many frames in the second now let's see if i uh, like call a print and i just print something like uh, a start a method call okay uh, let's okay. see and first of all you should know when you are developing a game uh, you should have to open your console uh, to open your console you have to press control shift and c when you press control shift c the console window will appear okay control shift c yes okay so the console window will be there otherwise you can open the console uh, window from this is for debugging actually okay this is for debugging there are some warning there are some logs there are some uh, errors so here you can see everything and other way you uh, where you can open your console uh, first of all i have to close this tab and then you can go to the general and here you can see control shift c to open the console okay 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 yeah okay. then you can put the console what is that mean you can put over here okay as you wish where you want it to where you feel better so now what i have done i have put uh, we can write over here something as like debug dot log this is the log actually okay debug dot dot this is same like uh, it is same like printf yes okay to display uh, something on console window okay so now we can test now so what is the front frame front sum yes i cannot hear you what is the difference between the print and debug.log these are same actually this the print f and the debug actually there are so many things like debug dot to warning log warning uh, this is the actually warning you have to whenever whenever we are doing some type of debugging in the game so we write this thing that we are doing okay. this work we are making the we are making a bunch of a player so we write over here everything so this is uh, this is a way that uh, whenever we make any uh, method so we write something that uh, in the, in that method that uh, the video is played so when we are uh, over here in the game screen and we can see the console what is happening in the game so it will show you the text over here so that's how we can uh, uh, learn and understand how many methods are have been working okay so yeah. now when i when i hit the play button you can see the log now you can you cannot see the log because the log uh, tag is off you have to turn it on and now you can see start method call okay so the the thing and here you can see it is it is right one yes one okay if you double it 
if you make it double so how many time it will it will be there two it will be two exactly when you hit the play button and you can see it will be two and you can also collapse them like this start mode one and two okay so what, what when we try to when we try to rip your voice is not clear Okay. One no, your voice is uh, Hussein, your voice is not clear. Uh, can you uh, when we try to replay the game, can we auto clear the log? Yeah. There are so many How? things. Clear on play. Clear on play. Whenever we play the game, okay. it will automatically clear the log. And no, it didn't and, clear anything. No, it, it, it actually it was false. You can click on the clear button as well. Here is a click clear so button. So it has to be manual. Yeah, but if if the check button is there, okay. If you check yes. the clear on plane, then it will clear. Don't worry, don't worry. It will clear by automatically. But actually, because when we fix error, the error will be there on the console. Okay. Do you know what I mean? So I, yeah. if, 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 there is, if there is an error, no, no, and then worry. I try whenever, to fix it, the console whenever, will, show, will, will print yeah, the same error. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I, this is the automatically clear on play selected. Okay. Don't worry. Yes. In your editor, this will be by default. Whenever you play, it will, it will delete the previous play console log. Okay. And this is the new one. And now what I will uh, tell you, during this time, okay. this, this method call once. This method, this start method, call once only, only one time. Okay. And now let's copy this line and you can paste over here as well. And you can see update method call okay the same thing we have done in the update pattern okay update method call and now let's see what is going to happen i just clear it <laughs> now you can see in one second it is adding about to 40 to 60 frames in one second yes okay so it is like uh, it is like you can understand like it is like it is like infinite loop loop yeah it is a loop okay and i can tell you one more, uh, and Office. another yeah if we just remove the the debug from start and we keep it just an updated is this going to work also yeah it will it will work if I just remove this, now I have commented. You guys know what is comment? Yeah, okay. comment. That's yeah, yeah. just this comment. will this this will not this will not run. Yeah. Okay? yeah so, so update will work. This is another method, and this is another method. And the thing is, you have to understand these methods. Okay, let me start with three methods. This is number one method. This is number two method, and there is a number zero method as well, <laughs> which is called awake. Okay. And uh -huh. okay. So, what is happening over here? This is, uh, we can start with uh, this is uh, one, this is one, and this is two. And this one is a loop. And then number three is a loop, infinite. Okay. So if I copy this log line, and we can see a vague, okay, a vague method call. 
so these are the method which will automatically call and we uh, every developer every game uses this uh, these methods okay yes so now uh, i first of all which whenever when i uh, hit the play button so which method will call on the log for, uh, for the first time i think the awake will be there on the first on the first line you can see awake is there awake then start okay. method and then update okay so whenever we the whenever the player uh, starts the game so we have to understand which code is going to be start for the first time okay so now what i will do i have to uh, as uh, as the name of the script i have to tell you how many variables we will use in our game okay mostly use there are so many variables like hash table and list and string arrays there are so many things but the mostly which uh, variables we are going to use in our game so let us start with the public game object and object okay this this could be anything game object could be anything okay so uh, game object sh should be anything from here it should be it should be an object these all are the objects these all are the game objects so we can uh, when you see over here we can drop a cube over here we can drag uh, a cylinder over here now you can see yes. now you can see we can assign anything even a ui even a event system because everything oh. is is an object everything even though a variable is an object so okay. i can assign any object for any script yeah any object for any script if you if okay. you want if you want if you want to get any anything from hierarchy you can go with the game object this is a variable even for example lights and cameras everything right everything everything but to when you are okay. going to use the light there is a specific light variable okay a specific okay. light let's uh, yeah okay so but this public. this is yeah public game object and object okay the main game object uh, is this one used so much okay because because the player the main player when we making a game and let's say let's say this is a player uh, we can call it uh, we have to name, yeah. rename it a player then okay the player having so many things over here so many components in it okay so we don't have to de define it as a rigid body we don't have to define it as a mesh renderer we can call it a game object the player is a game object so we can easily drag and drop a player over here so we can so we can uh, if i want to uh, get the values of the player like a rigid body values if i make a game object then i can get all the components that is a very benefit to uh, create a game object i can get anything okay or if i let me show you let me show you i have created a object and we can rename it to a player okay and we can now you can see i have to save it and then come come back over here and then it will change to player okay and then the player rigid body uh, drag is zero or mass is one right now okay and i want to change the mass value from the script so what i will do i will do player yes. dot get component and rigid body okay you understand this this is very easy this is a player mm, well no okay. can you explain it for me yeah yeah explain i'm explaining i'm explaining you this is a variable thank you okay 
this is a variable okay. and we have assigned this variable over here now now this is assigned variable okay, okay. now yeah now now where are the components these are the components i told you Yes, these components. The, okay. These are yeah, these are the components. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, these are the components. Okay. Rigid body, right. capsule collider, oh. mesh renderer, everything is a component. So we have to we have okay. to get the component. So what we will do? We will uh, press a dot. So you can see there are so many things comes up over here. Yes, okay. Yes, yes, so yes. we we want oh, to get okay. we want to get the component. Okay, so we hit the get component and then we have to name the which component you want to get here here we have yes. to write so if i write a mesh renderer it will come okay mesh you can see you, you can see you can see there is a mesh renderer but i don't need to get it i want to change the value of the rigid body mass which is one okay so what i will do okay I will write a rigid body so you can see the hints uh, is there. You can press enter, and you have to make a method. Uh, the uh, this braces. Sir, half of your voice is a little bit not clear. Uh, my Mr. voice is not. Your voice is not clear very well. Uh, now it is clear now. Please. It is yes, clear now. It's, it's better. Little but, bit. I think, I, think, I think it's the Wi-Fi, not the voice, though. Okay, so let me change yeah. my connection. Let me change my connection. Wait a second. Let me pause the recording and uh, let me okay. change change my connection because I have uh, another uh, pause. Yeah. So now what we will do, we have, we get the component, the rigid body, and then we can, uh, now you have to uh, uh, get the values under uh, under rigid body, so you have to uh, click the dot, and then you can uh, hit the mask like this, and you can change it to two F, or we can make it twenty. Okay, so let's see if it it will change or not. Right now, the mask is one, and over here. Whenever we hit the play button, what will happen? The awake function will call one time, okay? And it will call the player and get the component of the rigid body and it will call the mass value and it will change to 20, okay? Let's see, clear it okay. and play over here and let's see, okay? We can go into the inspector, and now you can see the mass is 20. Okay. Okay. So now, this is the example of game object. This is the example of game object. How you can assign, how you can assign a player and then get the components into the uh, of the of the player and you can change the values and now the other thing the other way to change the value so we can uh, we mostly we use floats float value okay so make it more little complex like uh, public float and you we can call a player mass Okay, and over here we can change right now the 20 F is the static value. Understand? This is a static value, we cannot change it during yes. the during the uh, play, during the play of game. We cannot change, but we can change the player mass value, player mass. So this will be a dynamic value, we can change it anytime. Okay, so okay, okay, and over here, what we will do, we can we'll make a player mass player mass is equals to 50. Okay, 
okay whenever the game is started the player mass will become 50 and this 50 value will be saved in the player mass float variable and this variable will assign to the mass of the player as a 50 okay yeah. so you have to you guys have to understand these stuffs how we make a game object how we make a float and how we inte integrate each of them okay how i am integrating the player mass into the player okay and so, the float is a type that is going to be only a number right yeah and and the thing is we can okay. also change it from here we can also change it from here player mass over here if, you can if see we change it from here it's going to be changing the script also e exactly no okay no 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 a big no to you because uh, we are not changing it let's see let's see i think it will not right. change because if if we want to change it we have to copy this script and we have to paste it because uh, it will run one time okay if i change it it, okay. it will not it will not work it will only work whenever the game is play okay, okay. if okay. i will i will i will let you see okay you will see so i have clear the console and hit the play button and now you can see now you can see the player mass is 50 because i yes. write the 50 value from here and let's check into the player it is 50 now okay but when i change the value to like 10 so i think it will not change it will be 50 because the awake function already called and now it, it will not call okay so for that okay. what we will do for that what we will do we have to co copy this line and we can paste into the update method so update will be okay. a loop again and again and again and again so it will change the value so we don't so in have other word that the starts is going to be uh, that this is the first thing is going to happen that's the game object is going to be 50 the, for, the then... very f yeah yeah the very first thing uh, which will be going to start before you start the awake will be there before Perfect. starting your brain you have to open your eyes exactly okay? exactly when, when you yeah. open your eyes then slowly your Process brain will the... work and then work. Yes, yes. you go to the office and work and work and again and again and again so exactly. something like that <laughs> so now let's see i what i have done now i have to move this script from here and i have paste it over here under the method of update update method under the update method so now what will happen it is saving the script and i have to stop now and Let's play now. So now All right. the mass is 50. And whenever we change it to like any value, so it will be changed. The mass is 10 now. Okay. Uh, and the mass, if I change to 100, so the mass will be 100 now. It will be changing in a second. It will change exactly okay. once you write anything. If you write zero, then the mass will be zero. Zero mass is nothing. If I write 1000, any value if I give, so it will be changed. Okay. Yeah. Any question uh, over here now? I just created two variables, two data types. One is the game object. Another one is the float. One more thing we can do over here is uh, a string everything is clear now everything is clear thank you so much and you can no why the private there is an error on the private yeah if the... i if i make it private so you cannot see over here mm -hmm. the player mass if i make a player mass uh, private. 
No, actually, Mr. Hafiz, uh, <clears throat> I'll make the other question. Uh, when do I use a private and when do I use public? I think this is the better question for me to ask you. Okay, okay. So, okay, I will. Public? And does the public, can I, uh, I see it in another script also? Yeah, exactly, exactly. And the private where part. Is the other script? If I open another script, JavaScript, uh, sorry. C sharp uh, script and I uh, write anything. I can see this public also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you. Okay, yes. let me tell you in uh, some something like in a paint. Okay. If you don't mind, then I can tell you like this. Yeah. Okay? This one is a is a script like we can call it uh, variable script okay definitely it is c sharp okay and there is also uh, another script which is uh, a game manager okay game manager the cs okay so what happened what happened if i made a player game object as public Okay, and I make uh, something. Okay, you, you have to understand how many things which will be accessed from uh, out of the script. Okay, so uh, and something like a power or you can call a health, health value is private. This is a variable. Okay. These are the variables. Okay. Let, me, let me make a red a box this is a very object this is also a object okay but this is a private object mm -hmm. no let me make red this one and green no 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 like this red one this and green part of this okay okay so what will happen what will happen and now what will happen if you want to access uh, where is the arrow if you want to access the player object okay this is the down one yeah that is the yeah right yeah if you want to access the uh, game player object player I game object by, I you can access you can access from the another script as well like you have to make first of all you have to make a static uh, object okay and you can name it as an instance okay and then what will happen then this is my son actually He's family crying. come first check your son first <laughs> no, no, no. Your son. No there is a mother there is her his mother actually we will see all right. Hey, All right. he's fine now. He's fine now. No problem. So, what will happen over here now? First of all, how I have to access the player game object from another script? Okay. First of all, we have to make it public. Okay, Jose. We have to make that yes. object as a public. And then what we will do? We will. We have now. We have to access this player from another script. So first of all, we have to write the game manager then you have to hit the dot button and then you have to call the instance and then you have to again make a dot button and then and then you can uh, see a very uh, long list hint list and where you can see a player and then you can change the value like mass any mass you can change from another script so that's why Actually, whenever, whenever, but this this one is going is not going to access. This one will not access from any script, rather than this script. Health value will be changed from only from the game manager class. Health script can only be accessible through the game manager class, but the player script will be accessible by any other uh class so let me show you how it it will work okay so we have a hit me button 
hit the script over there in the variables. So now what we will do, we have to uh, access the player object from the hit me button. Right now we cannot do this. Okay, so now uh, let me change the mass uh, value from the hit me button of the player. Great. This is this will be great, okay. I think. Yeah, right okay. now, right now I'm changing the mass value from the variable script. Okay. And this is yes. uh, this is the public public. This is the player is public. So I can also change the mass, uh, the mass value from here as well. So for, for that, what we will do, we will make a update method. Okay. And then first of all, we have to create an instance to, uh, do, do you know what is static is? Static uh, yeah. objects, static objects are accessible throughout the application. This, okay. is the, this is the definition, basic definition of static, that the static objects can be uh, accessible throughout the application. Throughout the application means any script over here in the project can access uh, the, uh, this script then. Okay, so for how to make a static uh, instance. So you have to write public static, static. This is easy, don't worry. You have to name the, cl the class name variables and the name will be instance. You can write anything over here. You can write, OBJ, you can write anything, but mostly uh, the developers, programmer use underscore instance. Okay. So now what we will do. Okay. So now what we will do, uh, we can copy this script from here. Okay. And paste over here. It will show the error actually now because hit me don't understand what what player is it is because there is uh, hit, under hit me script no 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 we have to define it actually we have to define how how to define it it is very easy now first of all you have to write variable the name of the class okay this the, what is the name oh. of the class tell me variables variables Where, okay. variables and then you have to hit dot button. And then what we will do, we have to, we have uh, created a instance. Okay. This one. Okay. And then when, when you uh, ah, type okay, okay, instance. Okay. Because the player is inside the instance, right? Yes, exactly. And now you uh, can see, okay. now you can see the variable, this word. And same like this, you have to variables, variables dot underscore instance dot player mass. Now you can see there is no errors. Okay. And now, I think I understand it now. Okay. Okay. These are the ma main things, okay? If you don't understand these things, then we, you cannot understand the big project. So can you go, go back to Visual Studio again? Okay. The, the only thing that is, um, I guess is, I'm struggling with is that, so you, you created an instance of the object of variable class, yes? Yes, 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 this one. Yes. But then in hit me, you need to mention variables again. I thought you only need the, the underscore instance. So go to hit me. Go to hit me, C sharp. Okay. So why do we need variables? Why it's not only underscore instance dot player dot get component? No, because which uh, we have to we first of all we have to address we have to make a complete address actually because there are so many which instance you are talking about. If, if I write, if I delete the variable and I, I write the instance, so it will show the error over here. Yes. That, that which uh, Mr. instance, Mr. Which, 
Yeah. Yeah, because maybe we can put uh, another instance in another C sharp uh, class. Right, for yeah, example. yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Actually, that's actually, right. actually uh, the scripts understand each other. First of all, if there is a third script, the third script can understand variables and hit me as well. Hit me can understand variable like. Let's say if I if I write over here a hit me, so you can see hit me is there, and if I like HM, this will become a variable now. There is no error. Understand? Sorry. Understand? That, that that's that's a, a new one. Uh, so what? So you make a variable for hit me or what? Yeah, I make a variable an object for hit me because. I'm I'm telling you the flow of Unity. Every script so, underst understand each other's name. Uh, so if is um if we want to create an instance inside hit me C sharp. So yeah. So for example, can you uh, can you go to hit me C sharp? And then if you go up and then make like variables, like a variable called variable. So just like how you did with hit me but in, so if you go yeah. yes here and then and then go variables and then Dot. call it no no just call it like i don't know anything yeah yeah yes if you no i cannot hear like, you like can you go down now all the way down yes yeah can you do v dot underscore instance dot layout? Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. This is this is another way. This is another way. Yeah, it will it will work. But for that, what we have to do, it will be a null thing. What we have Why? to do right now, it will not work. I think. Why? Uh, yeah, because we have to assign this variable. We have to make it public. We have to make it public. Now it will work. So now, uh, it will work now. And now what we have to do, we have to assign it as well. We have to assign it uh, under the hit me. Now you can see under the hit me, you, there is a V object and we have to assign the variables object from like this. And this is another yes. way. But this, this way is little bit uh, uh bigger than that because uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. before before we have we we don't have to assign it if you create an yes. instance you can use it in any script throughout the project okay okay you don't have to you don't have to make a new okay I, so usually, you usually you, you, yeah usually for example how many like how do i know uh, how many instances are like in any in the in the industry standard uh, yeah like in, in, a com the... in a complete game in a complete game only two three scripts are the main scripts uh if 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 a yeah. game is if a game is about the third person controller like, like something something like beat me up something like beat me up game so there yeah. will be now you can see in the be beat me up game uh Character selection is there. Yeah. So if you, if you see, there are player one. Okay, let, let me tell you over here. So if this is a player, okay, and the there are uh, three most useful scripts. Okay, we can make a new class and save it in a game. The first thing is yeah. the first is the, the first script is the game manager script. Game manager dot cs. This is the very important uh, yes. class, which will what we will uh, watch what this uh, class will do. It will take care of the levels of the game. It will okay. take care of the enemies of the game. Where where we have to spawn the enemies, where we have to spawn the new character, if yes. correct, what is the health of the character? So we have to, and and the other uh, script will be UI manager. 
ओके यू आई डॉट सी एस सो इट विल इट विल टेक केयर ऑफ ऑल द यू आईज लाइक लेवल फेल स्क्रीन लेवल सक्सेस स्क्रीन पॉज मेन्यू रिज्यूम मेन्यू and the timer uh-huh. and uh, so the, clock so you so all this manager will have access to the yeah. instances yeah so we what we have to do and we you can call something like a help script okay usually there is a, a class called player health dot cs so usually there is a instance like uh-huh. Uh, instance i see okay okay usually we create uh-huh, uh-huh. instance okay now we can continue okay okay uh, i think i get okay. what you mean but if if there is a, another script okay there is another script like uh, anime or uh, something like the other like uh, you can say a raycast script any random okay. script random script yes, like yes. a raycast so you yes. don't have to you don't have to make a instance over there aha uh-huh, aha uh-huh. okay. Okay, okay. Because, okay, yeah. okay 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 yes 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 so this this is not a good uh, way to do uh, yes. that work okay. you have to write the class name variable and then, then access the instance the instance okay. and then you can access all the variables public variables also okay okay okay, okay. Uh, because we, if you make a variable class then uh-huh. you have to assign it over here and yeah. we don't want yes. to we yes. don't want to assign everywhere we don't want to assign like there are uh, if there are 50 uh, scripts then yeah. we are going okay. to assign okay. it again and again and again and again okay. so we, we don't want to assign it again and again that's why we don't need it okay okay brother so now there are so many things left we have to do uh, what i have done variable game uh, component bool okay let me tell you what is bool now okay so right now everything is working fine let me check let me let me check what is happening right now in the game and i have to hit the play button and then i will change the value okay okay the player value right now is 1 uh, Okay, and the variable is fifty. Okay, it is not changing. Variable update. Okay, okay, clear mass. Why it is not changing? So, well, what's not changing? Can I can I see you? I don't know why it is not changing. What 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 is not changing? What you talking about? Which one? I'm talking about the player mass, the player mass. Because we have. I think. Yeah. I uh, I have changed the value from here. Okay. Yeah, I think you just need to replay. Because yeah. it's in, in play in play mode right now. Yeah. Let's check. Let's check it out. the player is the mass is 1 okay and the player is there the mass is 50 if i change no it is not changing brother uh wow. it's not let's see the is it the update this is the update what is happening what is happening okay you no. come and comment it out the update no 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 The variables it is, yeah it's, it's commented out yeah it is not commented the, in the hit me in the hit me it is not commented so what we can do else it should work instance the player dot cat component widget body mask okay so now we can also debug it now let's debug it if it is working so it will show it will show in the console okay yes. this is this is why we can uh, we use the debug logs hit me update is calling okay so, so now we, okay so now we can hit the okay. play button 
and check on the console that if this script is working or not. Okay. So now hit the play button. It should work actually. Hit me update is calling, but there is a, yeah, there is an error actually. And the error is there actually. And variables or instance of, they are saying there is a null reference exception, object reference not set to the instance of an object. Okay. A static, did we delete the static object? The line for the static object? Yeah, I think public static variable. It's okay, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. What, uh, what we have to do is we have to uh, assign it. The instance is equal to this, then it will work. Yes, we have to assign. Assign to this class. Okay, we have created the instance variable. Okay, but we have okay. not assigned the instance variable to this class. And now we have uh, done this. Sorry, and happens when you put this, you mean this class, this is awake class? No, 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 all this the... is, no, no, this is, this is a variable class. This is the variable, this one. Ah, okay. So everything, ev everything, everything under this curly braces. So yes, it will be, yes. it will have all the public object. So, so can you, can you, can you assign this instance uh, equal this outside yeah. this uh, awake? Yeah, I can assign it, but, but the perfect, the uh, perfect uh, method is the awake because this is the first method which will be run. Okay. If uh, I, okay. Uh, I, I have to assign, I have to assign Sorry, it for I, only I, I, for, I have to assign so only happens, one time. Happens. I thought it starts going to be the first. Uh... No, no, no. Before it start awake run. Okay. Let me all show right, you again. Right, right, Let me right, show right. you over here yeah. as well. The first yeah, no line problem. is the awake and then start and then update. That's the first... okay. 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 I get it. I get it. You I can, you it. can see the flow. You can see the flow. Now we but can. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm a little bit uh, late, but. Why do we need awake then start? Why we just put it in start and that's it? Yeah, actually, actually, when we have a function which is run before awake, actually, uh, what we have to do in the awake function, mostly, uh, mostly, we get levels instruction, uh, levels number, like uh, what is what is the current level? Let's say. Uh, so in other words, sorry, sorry. The awake, it's just because we want to know where are we? Am I right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And the start is just where we can start. First of all, the yeah, and this. exactly, exactly, exactly. We all have right, to. All right, all right, all right. The awake function, will, but, we, but we will do in the awake function, we will get the, all the, all the values. Like uh, I started playing a game and I have cleared five levels actually. Okay. And what we yes, will do, yes. we will save that five levels into the storage of the uh, phone. Okay. Or for, ex or for example, we can put easy, normal, hard for the game. And yeah, the yeah, 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 this is the. And, this and, is, and uh, the start is going to be the character health bar and these things. Am I right? Actually, what we will do, we have uh, we have a different two different uh, classes. Let me tell you over here. Okay, these are two different classes and a little difference. Like uh, this one is awake. This is the awake method, and this is the start method. Okay, but which will uh, run first this this will uh, run first this is the first and this will be the yeah. second method which will call okay so and, and the third one yeah and the third one will be the update method update and it's going to be looping it right? will be a loop it will be a loop all right, all right, uh, all right, all right. update which is a loop okay so what we will do 
uh, over here we make uh, something like instance instance those dot this we usually do this thing because whenever a, 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 any other script like hit me like hit me starts we can make a start method over here void start like this and if i do something like uh, variables variables dot instance okay so it yeah. will there will be a there will be a error it will say a null because if i if i go with a uh, if i make instance in a start method so it the both uh, method will run on the same time uh i didn't get it Nothing. oh okay okay there uh, okay okay start method if i call the instance in the start method and i i call a player over here okay and i am in instantiating i i did not instantiate okay. the instant in the awake so it will not uh, it will not to understand what is the instance who is the instance because it will be late actually so the thing is first of all you have to uh, instantiate and assign the value under the awake under the awake what we will do we have to fetch the current level and let's say it is 5 okay, okay. and then in the start method uh, we can instantiate the player position to fifth stage okay so it will be ah. a very it will be a very good flow okay first of all we get the current level of the game and then we yes, can yes. assign the player spawn position to respected to the current level now okay, let me tell some, you uh, it's a little bit uh, i don't know but this is the loading screen that we see in any game that's why it's loading and yeah i think this is the this is why no. it's loading right it's a way yeah. to start yeah yeah that's why they they are fetching the environment there are so many things there are yes, there yes. are the 3d environment as well there is the character as well everything scripts are loading so everything is loading in the awake and then it will transfer to the start okay so this is the this is the this is a perfect and best practice to get the instances in the awake method and then you can uh, change the values and use that values over here uh, you can uh, you can say like you can use values in start method okay the difference if you can ask me what is the difference of start method and awake method so i can tell you and for uh, awake uh, method we can assign values only in this method okay so this is simple okay. this is not yeah. this is this is not a very big thing so okay. now okay so right now i have make the instance and now you can see uh let's hit the play button and it will work inshallah okay now hit the play button and let's see if the variable no there is no error right now okay let's jump yeah. into the player uh, player and the player mass is 50 and if i change the player mass to 100 let's see the player mass is 100 right now and you can okay. see i have not this this the line is commented as well this line yes. is commented and there is nothing we are changing from here we are only changing from here yes okay? and we have to assign it like this the instance should be assigned in the awake method we can also there will be no problem if you if you assign in the start method but this is not a good practice this is not a good practice okay yes okay so what else i have to cover everything actually 
string float so in? I think I, th I think bool string is okay we don't need we know we know like string float bool maybe okay, we can yeah, talk yeah. about we can talk about list a little bit yeah I can I can tell you a list what is what is a list don't worry but okay. uh, I I have to show you the flow actually I know you okay. these these are the basic thing like uh, string a string is a very basic yes. thing I know but the how we use the bool okay how we use the bool so I have okay. to tell you I have to show you public bool okay. and uh, what we can say uh, timer okay and over here uh, we can public float and we can timer value okay over here and then now uh, debug dot log and we can write timer value plus plus or we can write like timer is equal to timer value uh, plus uh, time dot delta time it will be a second it will be a one second and time is equals to and plus sign and timer value okay so okay. Now, now so now let's see what is going to happen Okay, stop there. Everything right now you will see over here. Okay. Mm. So the console is clear now. Let me hit the play button. So now you can see it is uh, per second. The timer is updating. Yes. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven in one second. Okay, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so it is working yeah. fine. But uh, why we use the bools actually? So timer bool is there. So if I made a if statement and under that if statement body, there is a timer change. We can change the timer value. And if the timer is equals to true, then only it will work. Otherwise, it will not work. This is why we use bool. Okay. So now let's see. <clears throat> okay. This is a variable script. And now you can also check and uncheck over here. This is a true and this is oh, false. Okay. This is true. This is false. And this is a timer value. Now you can see over here as well. Timer value will be increased. It will not increase because the timer is false. We told it when it is true, you have to change it. Yes. Okay. And let's make it true. So it will change. Now you can see it is changing. It's keep changing. And yes. whenever, and whenever, whenever uh, I stop it, so it will stop because. Yes. Why it is working? Because it is a looping method. So yes. the main function in the game development is the update method. So you yes. can track, you can track anything. So now uh, what I will do, I will do a method. If I will create a method, if, if uh, timer value, is greater than and equals to 10. Okay. So timer is equals to false. Got it? Yeah. Now let's see. When I make it true, it will start. And four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10 and now you can oh, see it, okay it is automatically stopped i didn't yes. do anything yes. yes okay and let's let's see if i make it zero again and i start the timer so it will start again two three and i can change it like nine I can change anything because this is a working environment. You have to, you can do anything. Uh -huh. But, but if I make it again, if I don't change the 10 value and I make it true, so it will not work. It will not work. It is working, but uh, when when the script is there, it, it is not working. Okay, the 10 is 10. Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, so yes. that's that's how. And we can also, we can also debug dot log that uh, the game is over like this. Okay. And we can make it, we can make it five seconds. Okay. Okay, we can, we can go with the something like if it is greater less than and equals to zero, okay, and we can assign some values. Uh, timer value is equals to five, okay. At the start of the game, the timer value will be five, and it will be decreasing. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so okay. let's see. It will be a TikTok timer and okay one more thing we can do at the start uh, the timer is equals to true okay so whenever we hit the play button the timer will be true right now it is false okay when we hit the play button so it will be a true and for three two one zero and uh, minus zero it will stop and you can see the method will be there the game is over okay sweet 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 so one what else uh, we have understand what is start of update fix update in unity on trigger inter tracks and layers load scene menu level selection scene timer code we have done so I think this is, uh, uh, I think we can cover these triggers and tags layers in the next lecture. Load scene in the next lecture, what do you think? We can do it uh, right it's now. It's fine, but when is gonna be our next lecture? Tomorrow? I think tomorrow, if uh, uh, you guys are available at 10.30, yes, like, like 8.30, 8.30. 8.30 at our time, at 30 yes. night? At your time, yes. Yeah, we are available. You will be available, then we will do that. Great. All right. For now, yeah. For now, we are good. And uh, we need, yeah, okay. We, I, 